Alright, we're live. Alright. What's in this podcast? It's another special episode, another sit down episode here with David Lamont. And as always, we're powered by Inspire. But we got another special guest in the building. Introduce yourself for the people, man. This is Yagami. You already know, man. You already know. So as always, we're joined by Zach, who was on the computer, and Roman, who was on the camera here chiming in. Mom is also in the building as well, so she might have some questions as well. So tell the people what your niche is, man. You already know the show, you know. Oh, my niche. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of them. I uh, make music. I hustle. Um, everybody around know me. So mm-hmm. if you know, you know. If you don't, you will. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A man of short words and simple words, man. Gotta like that. So, what has gotten you to this place that you're in right now? What's the journey? A lot of hard work. <laughs> Whole lot of hard work. Um, what's got me here now? Huh, that's kind of an open ended question for real. Um, so, like. What has been like the motivating factor? Like, let's just simplify it. What's been the motivating Freedom. factor? Freedom. Freedom. Mm. Freedom. Freedom. I'm trying to wake up, do whatever the fuck I want until I go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's been like the motivating factor with all the moves so far in your life. It's been like, I'm going to make all these moves to basically get me freedom whatever that means like financial freedom yeah, yeah. financial freedom mm-hmm, mm-hmm, fucking mm-hmm. physical freedom mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I want to wake up across the world mm-hmm, mm-hmm. just cause I fucking feel like it you mm-hmm, know what I mean mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so like what are some of the things that you feel like are the steps to getting to that point you gotta understand yourself first mm-hmm. for sure you gotta have uh you gotta have self awareness and you gotta have confidence. Confidence is key. Mm-hmm. If you don't think that you can take it from the world, then the world's not gonna let you have it. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, um, that's the biggest thing: knowing oneself, being concrete in your in your own energy, and understanding what it is that what it is that you appreciate and will allow in your circle and won't. Um, mm-hmm. That's important. Your environment is very important. Mm-hmm. The people that you keep around you. Mm-hmm. Um, Loser mentality breed loser mentality. So, mm-hmm. you know, you only as success. They say you only as successful as the you know five closest people to you, and that's real shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, definitely. At the end of the day, you hang around winners, you are gonna figure out how to win. You hang around losers, you just gonna see how to lose. Mm-hmm. Um, so, environment is super important. Uh, keeping keeping people that are also moving forward mm-hmm. is important as fuck. And then. Uh, Yo, you just gotta be willing to work. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, like nothing come easy. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I think that's a missing factor with a lot of people. They Ain't nobody got no motivation. No motivation, and they think it's supposed to be handed to them, especially like uh, the generation. I feel like uh, the generation, my generation, and the generation below me, like kind of feel like everything's supposed to be easy and handed. entitled as shit. Yeah, yeah bro. And there's so many yeah. people like just even like that I see around that mm-hmm. just like can't hang mm-hmm. and it's mm-hmm. like can't hang in like normal ways like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. can't hold a job like can't you know what I mean mm-hmm. so there are people our age right now that still aren't driving mm-hmm. that, like it's just mm-hmm. they still live with their folks mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. 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 there's definitely it's crazy there's things there's definitely things and factors I feel like that lead to that but a lot of times it's from I feel like in the beginning of where it all starts from the parents and of how they're raised, you know what I'm For saying? Sure. And like circumstances. Uh, like, I've had to learn to stay away from people that are not looking for change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, people, you start realizing, like, yo, like, people don't realize, like, oh, yo, we got a way out of situations or environments, like you said. And but a lot of people self sabotage themselves to stay in these environments. You know what I'm saying? Yo, stagnation. Yeah, like it's almost like they're like a, they're got anxiety to leave the environment. So I had to learn for myself to really like think for myself. I'm gonna only hang out with the people I want to hang out with. I'm not gonna necessarily think about what anybody else fucking thinks. Like I'm just gonna do me because at the end of the day, most of the time these people who are judging are you know 
in my case, they're mostly times always still in trouble or never really getting into. They're not doing any better, better things. Themselves. Yeah, never <laughs> anything better to that is evolving. And then you get older and you start realizing, shit, like, all right, I'm at an age where it's like, okay, it's cool to be like, you know, when you in your early twenties and mid twenties, you're like, man, it's whatever. I'm about to just get this money. Yeah, I'm about to do whatever, yo. Then you start getting to a place of, like, you start getting older. You start um, seeing people around you go through certain situations. I got fortunate, you know what I'm saying? You start seeing people go to these different situations. And then you're like, yo, I don't, I'm getting too old to necessarily be, be doing this kind yeah, of shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or even want to um, put yourself in that environment. Because you realize you control a lot of the shit. All the things that be happening bad it's from your control it's decisions that you made you know what I'm saying I think once people realize that they realize they can get accomplished what they wanted to accomplish you know what I'm saying but um so music man so is music like your first your first uh, love or your first like goal in life yeah 100% right. I mean like when I was a little kid um like I've always loved music I've always uh I mean shut up I rap about it like, mm-hmm. uh since I was young, since I first heard, like, sounds, since I, like, you know, being small in the car with my moms and shit, just mm-hmm. anything getting thrown on, uh, it always touched me right here. Um, so, yeah, I've always wanted to make music, make yeah. sound, be big at it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, there might have been, like, there might have been, like, a, a point where you talk to, like, four-year-old me where I want to, like, be a ball player or something, mm-hmm. but, like... Mm-hmm. Pretty much out the gate. I've just always wanted to wanted make music, yeah. Big music head. So what has been, like, the, the hardest part of getting, like, music? Because a lot of people say music, but the business is, like, to do music, you kind of got to know the business. So, like, what yeah. has been, like, the hardest part of, like, getting there? I mean, man, the whole, the whole thing, the whole thing of the business of it is fucking ridiculous. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm still learning it, uh, you know. Like we're not even off the ground yet, as far as I'm mm-hmm. concerned. And uh, it's it's just a whole different world. I mean, it's you have to you have to completely step out of like the, the creation process, which right, right, as far right. as the musician is concerned, that is the process. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's like you have to step into a whole different world, and like. You know, I've been hustling for since I was 12 years old, so I understand business to like a basic degree. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, y- you pick up shit along the way. Mm-hmm. But music is entirely different because it's it's not something tangible. It's not something you can touch or feel or like. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not. It's not like any other product to market. Yeah, it's a whole it different ball game. It's technically well. It depends on how you put it. I have two questions in my mind. But uh, it's kind of how you make it work. So, like, like music is not the necessary to sell. It's the product around the music, and it's the person. The brand, yeah. And um, the other question I was going to say is, like, what is making it to you? Um... That's a good question, actually. Um, Cause I think that's where artists get get a little bit um, skewed. Yeah, because I, yeah, I don't. What is making it? Like there's this guy that was telling me the other day. He was like, "Man, I got a hundred thousand streams, man, and I don't know. I'm not I'm not really satisfied. I'm not really making them." I said, "Damn, man, I got a couple thousand streams, man. I got you know making pretty good." <laughs> yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? It's a it's a different. I mean, it's how you put it. I think whatever you want to get to you know what I'm saying like maybe cause uh, is it streams that people want is it popularity that people want is it is it you know am I making it cause you could have all the popularity in the world making get making the least amount of money yeah, sure. <laughs> so. you can have you can have no notoriety on you but making the most amount of money it's just it just depends on how it just depends on how you you know go for what's making it for you I think it does come down to yeah literally like the individual's personal Mm-hmm. Uh, goals or definition of success at that point. Uh, for me though, making it is going to be. I mean, it's like how I started it off. It's once I have that freedom, like once, you know what I mean. Once I, 
Like I said, man, I hustle. So like, once I don't have to do that shit no more, like, yeah, you know what I mean. Nice, nice, once it's nice, once nice. it's making me enough money that I don't have to worry about going and getting money off the street, then it's that's making it for me. You know what I mean? That's freedom. Yeah. Once once I once I have the ability to like exist purely off of that, that won't be enough for well, me. Let me but ask you a question about that. So like, cause that's a decision that I've had to make myself. So. What does, how do you necessarily, is that a, is that a want? Because like my transition was like, yo, like I want to get into, uh, once again, like I've said in the, I was just talking to my mom in the earlier interview, like you start figuring out, yo, I want to do what I want to do. So like, I always wanted to work. I got tired of motherfuckers always being like, yo, this nigga got time to take me, give me a ride here. So I was like, you know what? I want to get a regular job. That's how it started. Because <laughs> I'm tired of niggas always telling you I ain't got shit to do. <laughs> like, yo. Because, like, yo, I've always been able to figure out money. It's shit simple. Yeah. <laughs> it's shit simple. But motherfucking, as far as, like, the anxiety to things. Because, like, it's probably bad for your health. Well, in my case. Because I have bad anxiety. And um, the other thing is, is that the decision? Because I made the decision to okay I'm going to take what I got and I'm going to kind of transition to this to this different way of thinking of making money you know what I'm saying whether that be I have to get a job at Walmart or whatever because I went to Walmart and then I was like yo fuck this Walmart shit I need to figure <laughs> out a job that is that's like in the range of 50 60,000 a year so yeah. I'm like alright what can I do now so I'm like alright I'm you know but I'm still doing I'm still doing my shit you know what I'm saying but at the same time, it's just like, all right, I don't, I want to be able to be like, for one, I got to justify to her because she don't know what the fuck going on. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I got to justify to all these people, like, what the fuck I'm doing? Like, how am I even staying afloat? You get what I'm saying? Like, and these consequences, like, started weighing on me. So, but how much of, I think my question is, is how much is that a decision that of you not wanting to get away from that um hmm. like how like do you mean like uh how am I hold like yeah, am I holding, avoiding yeah, trying what, to, yeah, yeah, to yeah, get yeah. out of where because I'm like at? and then I also when I want now that I think about when I just said I also have I don't have any um I don't have any charges or nothing holding me back. Yeah. I got fortunate. So, like, I was able to just transition. All I had was a weed charge. So, I was able to transition into whatever I wanted to do. So, like, what exactly would be holding you back from transitioning to something? Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't really have anything holding me back. It's just figuring out how to get that in. You know what I mean? Mm. To It's... There's not shit keeping me in Bro, other and that's than the why money. Like once once I once the money calls said, me elsewhere, yo, I'm gone. I always said, bro, it's niggas not giving opportunity. Like, all right, for instance, Ma, you here, you know, Ray, right? My man Ray. He comes to me, he's like, yo, dog, I know I wanna make some more money. What do you do? I'm analyzing Ray. I'm like, alright. He he gonna show up to work every day. Hey yo, bro, you can get in the FedEx, man. Start driving. This nigga right been there for six years. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not people giving opportunity or telling you this is what you can do. There's avenues. The whole time I'm thinking the FedEx, bro, I'm thinking, yo, you got to go through this training, this school and shit. Dog, my man's literally was just like, yo, you, you want to get into the FedEx, bro? Like, how the, yo, L, he got me, yeah, mom, he got me in that jump. Like, it's just an opportunity. I'm like, oh, I could just get in that jump. Is that easy? I think I'm driving a truck in two weeks, yo. And 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 that and it's like it's a good, honest way of starting off to get yourself, you know, to a certain place. Cause then you gotta start thinking of a plan. Cause like I never wanted to do the job shit. Like you said, the freedom. The freedom starts coming into play. Yeah. Like uh, um, that was that's what stopped me with soccer too. Is there's no freedom in the shit. Like sports is no freedom. I, niggas doing sports power to God, yo. There's no freedom in that shit. <laughs> that shit's like a prison cell. Um, but yeah, it depends who you are. Depends who you are. But at the same time, your name yo, is Allen Iverson. <laughs> you don't practice. But look what happened to <laughs> Allen Iverson. <laughs> yo, that's real. 
I mean, but still, it's still, you got rules. It's a lot of rules to that shit. Yeah. It's a lot of rules to that shit. Them niggas is telling you to wake up. It's damn near the military. So, like, um, so, go ahead. Oh, can I have a I have a question because for musicians, so is there rules to that? So is it total freedom when you're a musician? Uh, uh, if you do it right, then yes. I feel I I think that it is. Um, I mean, I guess, but ultimately that depends how you get there. Because I mean, some people, you know, if you sign deals that are you know not good for you, then to a degree you do give up freedoms. Um, and no, I mean, I don't. guess because I think you're you're t- tied by the people. That is also another thing. Like, right. It comes into like an ethical discussion at that point of like, uh, you know, yes, at that point you are technically uh, not free because you're, uh, you know, you went to the big zoo. Right, of, yeah, that's, of what fame. I, that's what I thought. Because I, I, I hear, I like when I read about different artists, they were saying how um, when they're signed to labels, the labels tell them how to dress, how to. And you so know, that's why, I, yeah, that's why oh, I say it depends. Don't I guess, say that. Don't say that. Depends how you get in there. Things. Right. Um, theoretically, doing it independently, uh, which, as far as I'm concerned, that's how I have to do it because you know, ain't no big labels to get to right now. Um, if, as long as you do it independently, then it's kind of, I mean, you you do have the freedom to do as you please, um, and. I don't know. For me, having like, I could see how some people could see the pressure and like always like stepping into that arena, like and how to like I could see how you could argue that that isn't freedom, but uh, I don't know. To me, if if I get into that arena, then obviously like I'm not gonna compromise myself in order to get there. So if if I have what it takes to be there, then if it doesn't matter what I do, the people are gonna yeah. people are gonna respond. You know yeah. what I mean? So ultimately, it's still free to me. Yeah. I don't care who was watching it. I'm still I doing what me. Who was that question you asked? You asked a question a while ago um, about did you want to be like a, I guess a star or. Oh, it's I'm whatever you want out of it. Is it the money or is it right. my Fame. uncle or some of that shit? Like, right. you, what do you Fame. want out of this? You want money? And, like, when I was telling you about Mario, it's just, like, it's just different levels to it. Because you may not even know these people, but these pe- this industry is big. And when they say it's a billion-dollar industry, they wasn't lying. Nope. Because <laughs> it's, motherfuckers, <laughs> it's motherfuckers you don't know that are just... I mean, they live in sweet, yeah. Like, I mean, and you, it's different portions of this industry that if you learn how to maneuver it, and that's why I was saying, like, the product is the music is one thing. Like, that shit sits there. But it's that's a byproduct. Not, yeah, it's not necessarily what is being sold. It's these different things of uh, how do you make the music? You can sell that. How do you... Uh, um, um, provide locations for the music. How do we provide locations for venues for people to perform? It starts becoming how do you set up the performance? Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's all these little pieces, and then you can start elevating up because now you become a specialist. So now, if you're a specialist in setting up the stages, now you're making that much more money. You know what I'm saying? Like it just all these things, these different little avenues that can come from you just from music. You know what I'm saying? Um, just all how people look at it. I think uh, you know we get caught in a box because people are looking at Young Thug or looking at um, uh, Drake or looking at these people. It's so easy to compare yourself to that, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to use this. that as your level yeah, of yeah. success. Yeah. It's hard not to do that because you know those are those are like theoretically uh, you know your idols. Those mm-hmm. are your you know what I mean. Those are who those were the, the, the role model that you have <laughs> to get into the shit, you know what I mean? Or the inspiration to get into the shit. Like, you... S- That's who they pushing in front of us. Yeah. And you see them. And, and it also comes to... It also it. comes to, like... Uh, my uncle told me one time, he was like, oh, you're going to be getting money independently, right? But then the only way you're going to really get to bigger is if you got to be self-sufficient to where you don't really necessarily... That money don't make you. So, like... <laughs> Cause you gotta dump your money back into the breast. The only way you're gonna get bigger. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So like, 
if you're independent and if like I said if you if money was your it was your your goal to hold time independently you're gonna always be at a level whatever you feel comfortable at yep. but if if money wasn't it if it was just the pure like I need to make sure this gets to as many people as possible then it's gonna you're gonna always you can elevate as an independent artist simple because you're gonna keep put, putting your revenue back in you know, keep on you know betting on I think yeah. That's why I like um, Dame Dash is an inspiration, <laughs> right? Because like I be looking at his YouTube, bro. It be some video. We be getting as many views as that nigga, yo. But bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro. <laughs> that nigga Dame, he he be fake. He he then he's involved in every aspect of the industry. It's 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 all the smart people. If you look at the smart people, bro, they involved in every aspect. This nigga Jay Z is literally involved in every aspect. Performing. That's good. Man, bro, these niggas is in the sports now. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like they literally, they're literally managing, they're managing sports people. Yo, Ice like, Cube just started his own league. <laughs> like, it, I, I'm telling you, it's the, it's the when Kanye <coughs> said, it's the video game aspect, bro. And I'm preaching this shit now because people be laughing at me, but I'm preaching this shit now because over the last what five years, six years since I've been using this little video game shit to my not to my power, everything's been coming together, yo. All you gotta do is just literally just treat the shit. You can do it. Everything you want to fucking do, bro, and it'll come together. You just gotta just be manifested up, prayed up, and then from there it's just gonna come together, yo. Hard, hard work. work. Yep, hard work. You gotta do the shit you don't want to do. Cause damn, there's some days you don't feel like you don't feel like doing shit. You know, you, that's the fucked up part about life. You don't even feel like doing shit that you love to do. <laughs> For real. Sometimes, bro, you just want to. You don't even feel like, get, like you said before, you don't want to get out of bed. But like, damn. I mean, it comes about. Ah, oh, man, sacrifice again. Cause I don't even have a bed. <laughs> I'm just not getting a bed this week. That's that's how life. Shit. That's how. Yeah, literally, my bed's coming this Wednesday, bro. Like that, that's how that's how life has been for me, bro. And I'm and and I used to tell my mom, I was like, yo, I feel like I've been too comfortable. Like you know what I'm saying? I came from a comfortable spot where life was like, yo. At a comfortable place, I wasn't even putting my all into my goals. I was half doing that shit. I was taking the money I was making and spending that shit just to live on shit that I thought was cool at the time. Like for me, it was always the women. You know what I'm saying? But I like to, I like to, I like to treat. I like to go in different places. So I like to always like, yo, let's go to Virginia Beach. And I'm like, I got ADHD, so my mind is just all over the place. So like. Fucking me with money. And ask, that's why I got my mom handling money. Because, yo, me with money is not good. Because, yo, I'm going to be like, yo, y'all me. I'm bored, bro. You want to go? You want to go to fucking? You want to go to California? If we can do it, bro, I'm gonna do it. Like, yo, fuck it. We are gonna think about it later. <laughs> like, that's the video game shit in me, bro. Like, we gonna think about that shit later, but we gonna experience it because we don't know when we get to Cali. I don't know who you gonna meet over that jump. We might meet the next move, yo. Like that ass. Like that's how this shit. But you know, because it's the that's how the hustle game work. <laughs> like that's how this shit work. Like, but. The other thing is the the the, the being in the, the the game is you learn people because the, the music and the streets go together. It all goes together. I didn't realize that until one of my homies was like, "Yo, you're built for this shit because you play you play all the sides." You know what I'm saying? I was in soccer, so like I've always known how to like be in certain rooms. Cause I learned, oh, that's how these niggas is fucking up. They don't know how to be in. The <laughs> They act ignorant in the wrong time. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you got to learn how to, like, balance yourself in in, in these different... I'm not saying conform, but, like, you got to learn how to, like, be in these different situations because that's the only way you're going to make it in this world or get these opportunities. Niggas want to just be ignorant because I guess maybe it's just they got to be them. It's a it's a thing of, of I can't change myself because these people say like, I'm changing myself. But in reality... This is the world we're in. Yeah, you gotta be a chameleon to run in this shit, yo. Yeah, yo. This the world we in, man. Because these motherfuckers will sit there and they will literally, they will smoke with you and then they will go and tell and say they smoke because it's their job. <laughs> like, dead ass. Like, this shit, this shit real. And it's like, it's like, at the end of the day, everything is, is business. Business is business, man. So... Um, I do got more questions. You got any more questions? I see you're writing a bunch of stuff. Oh, no, I'm just jotting down <laughs> wisdom. <laughs> okay. You guys are throwing some good stuff. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's what we do, man. Mm -hmm. We just 
we throw we throw out wisdom. That's our job. That I feel like that's the bottom line. And correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. When making music, the bottom line is putting out the wisdom to the people. It's Whether a, it's about yourself or the world or that's whatever the, the case may be, yeah. Start there, yo. Start Sharing there. a thought or a feeling. Start there. Start there. Like what is what is the one thing you would want to tell your your fans to like get from your music, like that that knowledge from that? Be you. Mm-hmm. The world is yours. Mm-hmm. It's mine, but it's yours too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So, what you got coming out next? Like, you got any music coming out? Bro, I got like two dozen songs in the vault. <laughs> Uh, I got lots of stuff coming out. I don't know what's next though. I'm bad at that. I gotta. We gotta work out a rollout plan. Yep, yep, yep. Real. We gotta do everything. We gotta do everything. That leads into the, the next question. So, um, the Gmon, the Gmon. So, you're one of the artists from Gmon. Of course, we seen Kair, um on the last episode. Well, the episode before the last episode. But um, so, how has Gmon helped you? And what is um, some of the things that you are looking for an uh, independent label from as an artist? Um, <clears throat> uh, so far, I mean, G-Mind's been great at opening the door. Uh, I mean, shit, I wouldn't have played most of these shows without, you know, being a part of the shit. Um, I wouldn't have been on camera half as many times as I have been now without the shit. Uh, it's opened up a lot of connections. I mean, I wouldn't have met this dude without it. Um, it's just, you know what I mean. It's been a good, uh, it's been a good network. It's, mm-hmm. it's a, it's a great web of people. Um, it's been good to get me connected with with things that will help take it to the next level. Right. Um, and then what was the second part of the question? Um, shit, I forgot. The independent label. Uh, yeah, yeah. What would you? What are some things that you would think that you need from like an independent label? Um, I need, I need, honestly, I need a social media manager and 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 just like a someone for marketing. That's really the only <laughs> thing that I need done. Like that's just shit that I. Marketing. I need someone to take my social media logins and then do it for me. Do it. (laughs) Because, like, bro, I'm good at, uh, as far as social media is concerned, I'm good at, like, just gorilla shit. Just, Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. taking little shits of my life. People love that. But, like, I cannot post three times a day. Right, 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 right. I cannot sit and edit reels for hours. I'm not going to make fucking a 10 minute TikTok three times every mm-hmm. two hours to hit the alga like yo I'm sorry but like I'm just I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna yo. so that's what I need those <laughs> are really those are the only fucking things I need I can make music I can be me and mm-hmm. I can make you know everybody mm-hmm. love me mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that and that's crazy cause marketing is like literally the biggest thing people need is the key and um as building slowly I think um, once you, like you said, you figure out the one thing that you're missing as an artist, right? Mm-hmm. And you kind of figure out, because today we're in the, we're, it's 2023. It's a lot of this shit you could do on your own. So you really don't actually have to motherfucking be paying people to do shit. I think that's where people get kind of misconstrued. Like, um, yes, you want your music to sound, to sound the best, but if you just so happen to know how to mix and master, you should probably mix and master your own shit. Save the money there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to jump in. This was something told to me from my business. I, I did a lot of business um, trainings because that was the missing part for me. And one of the things I was told was that if you can if you can cut some of the time for tasks that are a lot more time consuming, mm-hmm. then it's worth spending the money on because then that way you have more money for your craft. So it's worth it. So I feel like paying for something like marketing where you don't have to spend all that time on it, and I think it's worth it. 100%. 100%. I think the marketing is what, at the end of the day, makes or breaks an artist it when does. it comes to it the is key. industry. It's key. It's key. I mm-hmm. think, it, it, and it really came to my mind when I heard a Kendrick song, he spoke about Killer Mike. Mm-hmm. I reference this every time because it reminds me of it. And then you look at Killer Mike, he's a pretty good rapper. 
but he never had that kind of promotion ever that Kendrick had. But he recognizes that if it were based on talent, Killer Mike would have platinums. But that also comes down to someone. But that's what I'm saying. What is your? That's what they're getting paid for, and that's what they told. That's, the, that's what they told us too. Is that mm, yeah. this per, somebody likes to do that, and they like to sit and post all day. Give them that opportunity and pay them. So it's like how the world works, anyway. So there's some things that we're good at. Shout for we, can, we still do it, but I think you should still be knowledgeable in the area, and that's what I was told too. You should be aware of it, just like finances. My son also needs to be aware of how to do the finances, even if he doesn't do it. Yeah. Just like if you have a bookkeeper that's Man, taking care of your let money, let me know when the re up is. What the re up is. As long as we got the re up, we good. You know, and then everything else, we can just go right, from there. Right. You still need to know. Right. Right. Yeah, I right. spoke with him earlier, and he knows a lot of this stuff. You know, right, so already. you know it. Right, that's because, the key part. Yeah, because I, I mean... No, I'm definitely aware. You think... <laughs> <I'm> aware. <laughs> definitely, yeah. Yeah, it's aware. You think when it comes to a collaboration, for example, mm -hmm. you think it's just, oh, let's get together with this guy, make a song, and just release it. Right. But there's so many layers so that go layers. into it. Like, exactly. The, who, who gets the master, who's, who gets the payment. Exactly. All that kind of stuff. Exactly. It, it's such a hard process. Right. I have one more question for you, Because um, you said earlier about um, knowing yourself. So how key do you feel? I mean, you said that that's a very important part for an artist. So what happens when they don't know themselves? What do you think is a drawback? Uh, uh, I mean, you see, we see things like, I mean, we, have, we, we get perfect examples uh, time and time again in our, like, in the big spotlight. I mean, uh, Island Boys. You know what I mean? You know, and just all of those like all of the, all the all of those little like flashes in the pan that we see. Yeah. Those are key examples right there of like what that <coughs> will do to you. You know what I mean? Like they get they get one little they get an inch and they try to stretch it a mile but ultimately they crash. Social media is crazy, away. man, because like so you could get big off of just social media. Cloud is a hell of a drug. Yeah, man. they become an artist. And building off of what Yagami said, I think it makes it much easier when an artist knows himself. Why? Because if you can picture your fans already, if you can picture right. yourself, yep. if you can picture who listens identity to your stuff, yours. if you know your identity, it makes marketing much easier. So right. much easier. You know like, what I mean? for, like for me, for example, if I were to speak to Yagami like right now about this stuff, mm -hmm. the first thing I would ask him is literally that, you know, what's your identity? How do you identify your fans? Like, mm -hmm. what do you like? He doesn't have to stereotype all of them, but he has to have an idea, all right, well, my fans would wear this, my fans would wear that. You know, he has to make up his own. If he doesn't know himself, he can't visualize his own Absolutely. fan. The both things go hand in hand. Absolutely. And that helps a lot with merch, every kind of, all the kind of promotion. Mm -hmm. So for me, personally, that's where it would start with, like, young me or anybody. Right. Mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. how do you see yourself? If you don't have an identity, I can't help you. Quite exactly. literally. Mm -hmm. And at that point, like, you don't know what you're marketing. Like, yeah. you're, you know what I mean? You're, you're starting the business even even more blind like if you want to look at it from like take away the creativity or the artistic aspect purely look at it from a business yeah. standpoint you know what i mean we're in an era too where we're but we're trying to get, <coughs> we're trying to reduce the number of plants there are in the industry mm -hmm. and trying to get more authentic figures right. quite Absolutely. literally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that goes back to what we talked about earlier when y'all asked about my role when you was asked about my role and um mm -hmm. That's exactly it. So, like, the question that you're saying, that's what I do when I first in initially interview somebody who is interested in Juman. Um, I will ask them questions around that. Do you know, you know, what is you, do you know what your um, your fan base is right now? You know, what does your following look like now? Right. Do you have an image? Do you have a, um, you know, do you Who are you? What do you care about? You, you know what I mean? Right. What are you trying to, what's your goal? What's up? Next three months. My main thing is, are you about to waste my time? Right. Exactly. 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 You know what I mean? That's the thing. If you're not serious. And a lot of artists, right. they don't think about that. They just no. want to make music. Just want to make music. They, yeah. they see the big figures. Yeah. They see the yeah, Drakes yeah. and yeah. the Kendrick Lamars uh -huh. and the this and they're like. But they don't uh -huh. know, they don't know the you're context. Right. They don't know why they are where they are. Right. I mean, one part of it, yeah, is marketing, but the other part of it is, they're authentic figures that mm -hmm. know themselves and they know their fans. They can identify who listens to exactly. their stuff. And they've been around for a decade plus yeah. now. Yeah. Nobody like, sees the, the first decade. That's exactly. The thing. Nobody that's sees true, the first right? decade. Yo. Because yeah. after 10 right. years, I'm just, I, I had to do the math. Like, Because when you was telling me, like, yo, you're finally making some money. Mm -hmm. And like, I had to think, I'm, I had to sit back. Damn, wait, how long have I been doing this shit? Doing it, right? I said, mm -hmm. fuck. 
It's been almost 11 years. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, shit. And, and every, if you look, go back and listen to them interviews, all of them say the same thing, bro. DJ Khaled said one time, 10 years, 10 year mark. <laughs> then this shit just started. It just like, because you just start, because now you know that you know it. You probably didn't, like, even Zach knows. I'm, I was coming off of a, a you, you do it once, you might stop. Then you restart it, because Zach's on the restart. He, he was, you were beginning to restart. It's the restart. You get what I'm saying? So, like, because now when you restart, you're coming into it. All right, I need the right people around. You know what I'm saying? That's the first That's the first step. You know what I'm saying? You need the right people with the right mindset. Then, then um, um, people who genuinely care for you, for one. You know? Then... Once you get your right team, then you can just go from there. It's patience. I think it's patience. A lot of people don't necessarily have patience, and then you gotta love the shit too. Yeah, because yeah, it's a business, and it's, and it's you gotta work. You gotta work at it. So, so I mean, yeah, everything takes. Work. I've said it once. Yeah. I'll say it again. Mm-hmm. When you start a business, you can't expect to cut yourself a salary. Yeah, that's five right. years. <laughs> In the shit. best case scenario, this shit is terrible. Very true. I'm just not getting to bed this week, man. We've gone three years without a bed. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all for the. It's all for the cause. It's all for. I am a year two without a bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> my God, that's what I'm saying. My God, see, bro. We go. Hey, shout out to Brit. Shout out to Crook. No bad game. You already <laughs> know, bro. We <laughs> grind for this. Yeah, Why doesn't Crook out of bed? I think he just now got one. Maybe as he's Why year. don't you have a bed? I do have a bed. Oh. Bedroom. Uh, <laughs> oh, you sleep in the bedroom? No, I sleep in. Why don't you have a bedroom? <laughs> because I turned my bedroom into, into, into the stool. Into the stool. It's, it's the life. Sacrifice. That's, That's your bedroom? That was supposed to be my bedroom, yeah. Oh. That's why there's all that. I figured you had a room like in the Yeah, I'm like, do you, oh. sleep with, I'm like do you sleep on the couch or something? I have my mattress out. <laughs> that's why that's yep. always yep. in that room. Yep. 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 I'm trying to tell you, that's bro. Funny. I've been air mattressing it up for, for it, bro. I'm trying to tell you. It's, a, it's, it's, it's It humbles you. It keeps you hungry. Like, and now, now that I'm getting to bed, I'm a little worried. But it's all good because I know I need a little bit of relaxation in my life now. I also can't have a bedroom. That's for real. Like, why? Because I will stay in there all day and just sleep if I have one. Oh. This is true. Damn, That's what I'm worried about. That's what it's I'm It's like, about like that. having the yeah. ability to do that, uh, I will just do it. I really like his room. His room <laughs> is basically, no, it's basically a catalog of music. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's a great place. <laughs> yeah, it is. I would love to. Sometimes I wake, bro, I do not. And then they invented Netflix, bro. That was one of the worst. Things. I spent two years in the bed, bro. Literally, once COVID, once COVID hit, dog, I was like, oh shit, okay, I got a little bit of money here, I could just sit down for a whole year. I'm trying to tell you. So, how many yeah, of y'all introverts or extroverts? I'm introverted. Yeah, I'm introvert. 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 Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I switch. <laughs> okay. I feel like I feel like it's well, different he, every day. He, I feel like he was an extrovert when he needed to, man. Yeah, that's what I think too. Yeah. yeah. And when it came to passing out those flyers, right. there's nothing better than an extrovert. Right, I can see yeah. That too. Well then, yeah, shit. I'm probably yeah, doing that too. If I'm choosing, if I'm choosing myself, yeah. it's gonna, I'm gonna be introverted. Right. If I have to be outside of my right. thing, so that's, that's probably it. Story. So maybe that's it. That explains why we all like. Because I said earlier the same thing that sometimes I'm like I don't even want to get up. But that's probably it because we're so comfortable being in that space that it, it, once we're out though, we we can do it. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> but but see, that, with that right. though, like while I feel like I feel like because like in the same case, like if I'm. By myself, yeah, I'm, I love being by myself. Right. Um, yo, I'm kicking it with number one, uh-huh. but um, I get to. I don't. I do not like to stay in bed. Uh-huh. I I gotta get up. The sun. Mm-hmm. I'm caveman brain all day. With the sun, uh-huh. as soon as that shit touches my That's windows, I'm up. Can't, about a winter. Can't <laughs> winter's no sun. <laughs> once it's out. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. like, no matter. Like, <laughs> it's that once that that's where the break is. <laughs> yeah, right. Regardless, though, like, once I'm up, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to hunt and gather. Yeah, I feel what you're saying. I mean, I'm up, but it's just movement. I don't that's like sleep. I sleep when I'm dead. Like, I can sit yeah, in the house. Right. When my bedroom was, when my studio was amazing. amazing. I know, I get it. I, everybody uh, loves to sleep. I don't know. I sleep when I'm dead. When I'm when my studio was my bedroom, I couldn't work in there. And right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. 
that that's shit's true. hard. That's that shit's got to be tough. My bed's right there. I can just go there and lay down yeah. for a few minutes and just be. I, I just take that out of my life and, and just put it I in all the rooms. Man, it's got to be. You got to be excited. Like I mean, right now I'm probably not sleeping as much as I probably should. But like I go through modes. So like I might have a day. Like Sunday is tomorrow. It's my day. I'm about to sleep all day, <laughs> and, uh, and you know what I'm saying. Nobody can bother me. It's just, it's just one of my relaxation days. I like to be to myself and not be bothered. Uh, and Netflix is the greatest invention ever. Like I'm trying to, it's so much on that junk. Like, I'm one of them knowledge people. Like I'm just one of them. I'm just, I'm one of them nerd people, Yo, bro. Netflix like I just, off. yes. And then YouTube is the other thing, bro. You can just be. I'll be in the house for. I told you COVID happened, bro. I was like, oh, thank God. I was in the crib. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, hey. It, uh, talking about that, a lot of people will call you lazy if you're on Netflix all day. I but know. I feel like it depends <laughs> what you're doing on Netflix. Right. Look, I'm not, I'm if you're watching a documentary right. on something that will actually help you, you are <laughs> advancing in knowledge. Look, I'm be honest. <laughs> I mean, I guess so, but like... Uh, as long as you don't do that all day, that's your own personal definition of what <laughs> time wasted is. Definitely, but look, it's all about how you. Yes. Do, how, it's all about how you use your time, right? So, right. like, I might be playing video games, or I might be sleeping, <laughs> but I'll be dead ass with you, bro. Every time I wake up from a day of sleep, my mind be so clear. Most of this business is built off of fucking just waking up. That's it. Boom. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, bro. It's all about how you look at it. Like, if you playing a video game. And you, you're clear headed. You're thinking about shit. It's like, oh, boom! Now I know what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Like these different things could be time wasting, but it's all about how you're utilizing right. your mind. Yes. It's all about how you're utilizing yeah. your, your your shit. You know what I'm saying? If I pause the game and write down an idea that I got from playing yeah. the game, is it wasting time? That I meant to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like I remember uh, back during COVID, I was like, shoot, I haven't really done anything. Like you know, it was 2020. I was like, shit, I haven't really done much in terms of, like, aside from school, you know, educating my mind a bit more. Uh-huh. So why don't I use this time that I could probably waste on doing something else, uh-huh. looking at podcasts, um, these interviews on YouTube. Yeah, I learned a lot of the music game. Any there, documentary so. on Netflix that has to do on a successful business and mm-hmm. see what you can take from that. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. I think that was a big part of COVID is a lot of a lot of businesses were started as a basis of COVID. Mm-hmm. So they sat there, people had time to actually sit down yeah. for once because they didn't have to go to their regular nine to five. So they were sitting there and it was like, hmm, what can I come up with now? So I think you should have downtime. Everybody should have yeah. at least once a week of downtime. I think personally, mm-hmm. um, a day to do nothing. I thought nothing. Sunday was that day, right. but I mean nobody has to have well, that set day. Days are a figment of our imagination. Show right. us time. Whenever you, yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's a social contract. <laughs> that's, no, that's where I'm at that's now. I'm like, right. uh-huh. I'm just like time doesn't exist. My doesn't. schedule does. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's not, <laughs> but that's the life that we're in. We're in. Yes. Meet the music industry is that. It's whenever your schedule is the time. I mean, there might be a meeting at fucking... Mm-hmm. Like, I've been doing fucking meetings at 2 in the morning sometimes. Like, just texting back and... You know what I'm saying? Like, people are... When you're tapped in, you under, start understanding the concept of time was just put here for us to be in restricted. Right. Once you start getting to that freedom... It was created for that 9 to 5 workflow. That's true. Mm-hmm. And not everyone works in that. No, they don't. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why, like... Function. That's why I really like this industry because... Yes. For me personally, like... I could function in a 9 to 5 I could but it wouldn't really be what I want to do I would be okay going with those meetings at 2 in the morning as long as I know there's some money on a timing thing though Hmm. on a you're working from 9 to 5 not not on a like the whole grind 9 to 5 thing but like on a timing thing being able to be in your own schedule rather than having that set time where you're working because that's also where artists have that that, that that problem too because you you know the battle you've always told me. Oh, you gotta. You should. Get, if you need more money, just get a job. I'm like, man, they gonna take my fucking time. So then, if I lose my time, then I can't build this to get to the next level. That's what the whole design. It's yeah. all about design. They want to take your time, pay you a limited amount of money, so so you can't go have your freedom to go figure out how to make more money than them. Uh, yeah. It's just all design. And once you figure out cracking that code, because. It's a balance. Once again, like if you're doing a job and you're an artist or whatever or whatever you're trying to do, you're gonna have to take those hours that you're at home and literally turn that into the hours that you're working your your business. Like no it is bullshit. what it is. Like after FedEx, I was going right to the studio. 
working on my crap. That's fair. That's fair. You know what I'm saying? And then going back and waking up five thirty in the morning, driving the truck, right. taking right. that money and trying to right. use I also, that. I also told you there was three ways to do it. You either can do the part time, you you work part time, and then with a flexible part time job, and then you do your business. You at gotta same be time. smart with your money. Or you, you can't do fall full time and then still do your business afterwards. Yeah. You can't you fall into the trap in, though. But if you do that straight in, yeah. that means you're sacrificing because a straight in means you have. Your income again, like oh, the Yagami said about when you first start the business, your money can is not your money; it's Let the business money. So that first year, you go in straight hardcore like that. That means you sacrifice. And you look at all those people. No bad. All them were homeless, <laughs> right? Some were homeless to get no to that. No bad. Straight up. Right. They Car got repo. Somebody in little small rooms, or they lived in their car. What else? House that, gone. Right. right. I think I, I lost my apartment. Mm-hmm. Car got repo. <laughs> uh, um, Shit, I've been no bad. Three times. Right. <laughs> I mean, it, it comes with it just, it just. I guess it, comes it just with comes with, with, um, right, with sacrifice right. of freedom. Right. I guess. There's also been people that have turned down chances to make even more money just to follow like yes. what they like. Like for example, right. like mm-hmm. I've heard of artists that have they had this chance to get this job that paid him like a nice salary, True. but they decided to work for this other guy who was building something mm-hmm. and. No money was coming in, but wow. they knew there was something was that was something gonna, that was funny. Like, yeah, it's passion. Right. It's like I, once again, you, well, I got the fortune cookie the other day. Work with your heart, mm-hmm. man. That's how we gonna end this shit. If y'all ain't got nothing, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that fortune yeah, cookie was perfect. <laughs> that fortune cookie was perfect because I had to get into that because like I was getting a little angry myself. Like, what am I working for? Like, this shit kind of crazy because people are fucking assholes. Like, people are just. They're there to just take and grab. You know what I'm saying? That's a conversation for a different day. So, <laughs> y'all me, yo, anything else you want to tell the people? You know, new music coming out. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, videos, shows, you know, anything. <laughs> um, I want to tell the people that I love them. Um, and that I appreciate them for watching. And... I got all kinds of shit coming out. I don't have any names or anything to announce, but it'll be here. It'll be good. You'll love it. Hell yeah, man. As always, what's in this podcast? David Lamont here, and we out. Peace.